All good there, Pearson? Still need more food, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, you should try your luck again with that bow. I know, I will. Damn, good shooting, senor. Come on, hold still now. I need to focus. Hey! Need a hand with your horse? Morning, Arthur. Molly. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. <sighs> Give me those. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. Good day, Mr. Morgan. What do you think of this place, Susan? An improvement on the last, that's for sure. Well, that ain't too hard. Good morning. All good there, Pearson? Still need more food, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, you should try your luck again with that bow. I know, I will. Well, how long are you gonna keep me like this? Huh? Did, did you send someone with a ransom note yet? Ransom note? Yeah. We'd be lucky to get two cents for you. Hey, I'm a valuable asset, mister. <laughs> <laughs> they was right. You have turned delirious. How's everything? All good. Hi. Good morning, Arthur. You okay there, Tilly? I'm okay. Warm, at least. Could do with getting out of here for a bit. I'm sure. But Grimshaw says I have to wash all this first. You okay, Abigail? Settling in. Good. Of what? Pinkertons, bounty hunters. It all feels... We've been in bad situations before, but... I feel like my whole life's been one long, bad situation. I'm a mother. It's the truth, Arthur. Listen all you want, but it's the truth. 
I'm afraid. First time in my life. I know, my dear. Well, what are we gonna do? Is Dutch... I, I mean, he's always found a way, but lately I... I know, dear. Seems we don't have a choice but to ride this train to the end of the line. If I were you, think of the boy and make plans. Arthur, stop being strange and tell her to make plans. Listen to Jose, Abigail. I just wish John was... I care about him. Damn fool that he is. I know, dear. Stay calm. Jack needs you calm. You ain't giving up on us, are you? No, of course not. But this is no situation for Abigail and the boy. It's gonna be all right. You really think so? Things will turn around. They always do. Don't mess with me, please. Miss, can I get a slip of that? Come on, please, just one sip. All right, here, make it quick. Oh, damn. That's good. That's your lot. Listen, you couldn't give me a blanket or, or a dry pair of boots, could you? Sure. You want a bottle of champagne with that, too, coming right up? Don't give me that look. You want to alive, don't you? Easy. Whoa. Easy now. Oh, boy. 
Okay. Damn good shooting, senor. Thank God for you, mister. Le debo la vida. Good luck with it. Que alivio. Yeah, well, you got really lucky. Typical. Whoa, easy. Just give me a minute, boy. Easy. Easy now. Whoa. Whoa. Come on, hold still now. I need to focus. Hey! 
Need a hand with your horse? Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, boy. I'm mighty glad to be out of that cold, Mr. Morgan. Me too. Oh, I am getting too old for this gallivant. <laughs> Me too. <sighs> Pearson? I thought I was the butcher. You're covered in blood, man. You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, Skill Tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thanks, Pearson. Very good. We were getting low. This should be some real good eating. Thank you, Arthur. All quiet, Jose. Thankfully, yes. Good. There he is. Arthur.
stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. Okay, then. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. You know, I think we're gonna be okay. Sure, but what next? All that money lost in Blackwater. We have licked our wounds long enough. We do what we do. We make more money, and before they even realize that we're here, we're gonna be gone again. And after that? I ain't losing to these... these fools. Arthur? You know me better than that. We get to work here. We make money, and then we head back out west to freedom. Oh, I ain't wavering, son. Hey. Hello, Arthur. How you feel? A little better. Well, glad you're on the man. All right, then. Okay. Whoa, now. Easy. Take it easy there. Yeah, that's it, boy. Howdy, partner. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies.
despacio. Is Bill there? Yeah. John, the thing is, we all gotta die. I know that. I, of all people, know that. Excuse me? We all gotta die, but you got the chance to live. Not just to live, to live for love. Arthur will tell you, we all gotta die, but love, love is the thing, the only thing. I got... No goddamn clue what you're on about, Hosea. You're not as dumb as you act, John Marston. I don't understand. Be a man, John. It would suit you. You both are acting real strange right now. How you holding up? Still breathing, I guess. You know what he's talking about? It ain't nobody's business but mine. Except we all got to live here together. Why don't you say, Arthur? You okay, Arthur? I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? The whole world's changing. Even I see that now. Our time is pretty much past. They don't want folk like us no more. <laughs> this their rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. Oh, they ain't stopping. We went and made our choices a long time ago, so. I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, Arthur. What a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just... I'm realistic about what's coming. <laughs> Keep thinking I should help folks, but... Ah... Uh, I don't know. Arthur... Oh, Arthur, you're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. I ain't that a truth. <sighs> ain't that a truth. Tilly. Nothing, Miss Grimshaw. That's right, nothing. You're useless. 
You're worse than useless. You're a parasite. You're a worm. Ridiculous. Get ready. But I don't want to work, Miss Grimshaw. I don't feel right. I don't care what you feel, girl. Get ready. <laughs> useless horror. Always good to see. You. Okay. Arthur. Oh, Arthur, it is good to be off that mountain. I never knew I could be so cold. <laughs> I know, Mary Beth. <laughs> kind of like it here. But where on earth are we? New Hanover. New Hanover. My lord, <laughs> my mother came from somewhere here. You know where? No, I hardly know much about her. She died when I was young. Mm. Mine too. Mine too. Arthur. There he is. Mr. Morgan, Mr. Pearson, quite a country, quite a country. You know, sometimes I'm glad I left the Navy. Too many men. <laughs> Too many men. This world, far more genteel, huh? <laughs> I never figured running in a bunch of outlaws would be the genteel option. <laughs> well, I've seen things, sir. I've seen terrible things. Arthur? There she is. You seem a bit happier. A bit, yeah. I'm glad. All right. Arthur, I apologize in advance for this stew. It needs better meat. You'll be able to make something nice with that. Thank you, Arthur. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. I'll need some more materials before I can make something like that. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. How are you, Mr. Morgan? You okay? Are you well, Mr. Morgan? Well, I'm alive, Miss Grimshaw. These girls, Mr. Morgan, they're driving me to despair. Why? No gratitude and no manners. This younger generation... It saddens me. The world is ruined. Hey, Tilly. Arthur. What? Mr. Morgan. <laughs> K. 
Can I ask you a favor? It, if it's convenient, I mean. Sure. If you're out on your adventures and you see any herbs for seasoning, would you mind grabbing them for me? Seasoning? Yes. Don't tell Mr. Pearson. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I already tried. Yeah, try again. So, the bad prince <laughs> was punished for his greed <laughs> and cast out of the kingdom. Kingdom. Hmm. What's a kingdom? Uh, I don't know. I guess where your king lives. I thought that was a castle. See, you're smart. So quit acting dumb. I'm trying, Mama. You ain't trying much. Please, Arthur. Give the boy a chance of bettering himself. It's hard enough trying to raise him in this place. But I want to be a gunslinger when I grow up. Over my dead body? You will be a lawyer. You do the hanging, not the swinging. You hear me? I hear you, Mama. Can I go play now? <sighs> sure. We'll try again soon. Well, thank you, Hosea. Yeah, good boy. I'm glad I can read, Jack. It's just too hard sometimes. <laughs> That's life, kid. You stalking me too, Arthur. You getting crazy, Dutch. Well, I've always been crazy, Arthur. You know that. You are starting to unnerve me, friend. I don't, I don't think you want me any more unnerved than I already am. I think I caught you at a bad time. Just don't play games, Arthur. I ain't. You're a sad man, Strauss. You drunk oaf, quit carrying on. But the cowardly killer that shot Mr. Miller has laid old Otis in his grave. Children, they were brave.
Make sure you stay awake there, Karen. Hi, Arthur. To this. Okay there? The thing is, the thing is that it isn't. Well, what's the plan? I mean, after Blackwater, we don't want any more deaths. I ain't just some two bit huckster, Jose. I, I am willing to die for this. If that is what it takes, but right now, I need to be left alone by all the second guessers. As you wish, my friend. I'll get us out of this, Arthur. You know that. Yeah, I know, Dutch. Sometimes, I wonder these days. I always got your back. Gentlemen, mind if I warm myself a minute? I'm getting too old for this. Living in tents. On the run. By my age, I thought I'd be living on some farm somewhere. Having some serving girl feed me freshly peeled grapes and another massage on my feet. Funny how things turn out. Said I'm stuck in the wilderness with you degenerates trying to stay warm. Still. Guess all that luxury run me to fat, and there ain't no getting fat out here. Now my old hat Grinshaw eats triple rations. Enjoy yourselves. I gotta get on.
ka ng balas! Hey, mister. Don't look like you're doing that right. You can do what you like. I'm not going to pay you any mind. <laughs> Shit. Oh, Wade was beginning to worry a little, Mr. Morgan. Oh, you know me, Miss Grimshaw? I'm a wanderer. <laughs> I know, son. I'm just glad to have you back with us, for now. Why, Molly, you are a cruel, heartless woman. Dutch Vanderlind, I am nothing of the kind. Then prove it. Prove it again. I think she'd prove the Earth was flat if you said you cared for her. But I do care. Mm, I do care. <laughs> Are you laughing at us feeble-minded romantics again, Mr. Morgan? Well, that's one way of describing you, but there's others. I don't pretend to understand what you mean, but if it is brainless and heartless cruelty you're looking for, and knowing you it probably is, Bill and those boys are in town. Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go check on them in town. Please do. They've been gone a while. And I'll, uh, leave the romance to you. John. I should have known you'd be sniffing around. <laughs> Let me know if you'd like me to peel you a grape. Morning, Arthur. You need something, Arthur? 